where we made almost $48,000 in one single day. It's not clickbait, it's real. <laughs> We're gonna show you how we did it. <laughs> time today story time here in the kt9 studios and this story has a very happy ending and you know what the happy ending was what almost forty eight thousand dollars almost going in your bank in, account in the pocket we should have just put forty eight thousand in cash oh my like, god in your okay pocket. so before anyone freaks out before anyone says anything first off here's the screenshot Second off, we're not doing this to brag. We're not doing it to be like, look at us. We're going to tell you how we did it yeah. because it will help you no matter what level of business you're at, no matter whether you're doing Amazon FBA or anything else, yep. no matter what you're selling, it will help you. So, Kale, set the stage. I got to do a public service announcement. Okay, first. public service. This is a podcast now. Welcome to the KT9 podcast. I don't know what we're going to call it, but here's the deal. If you're watching and you get value from what I'm about to say, I'm not gonna hit you with a bunch of ads throughout this presentation. All I need you to do, your entry ticket to listen and watch, is to share this with a friend. Please just hit that share button, tell someone else about it, tell someone about the podcast, about the YouTube channel, that's it. Okay, so now we're talking. Okay, let's set the stage. Okay, this. so I wanna give you, I wanna set the stage, okay? We're gonna give you the real life example. We're gonna be very, very, very transparent. Look, I, so much space. I know, just, like, I'm just around. moving back and forth. We're gonna be very transparent, tell you everything, and we're gonna explain it. So, uh, we started our Amazon FBA business, yep. then we decided to start a course. In April, we came out with Nine University. Yep. A lot of people who watch this are in Nine University. You're awesome. Thank you. If you need any help, message us, because that's what we're here for. Yep. Anyway, when we first came out with Nine University, we had three different levels. We had a bachelor's. Three levels to these battles. Bachelor's, master's, and doctorate program. Right. It so, went like $700, $750, yeah. $1,500, and $3,000 yep. for the doctorate. Yep. And those programs bought crazy value. The people who signed up for master's and doctorate got a whole bunch of stuff. And we decided that it was a lot of work. Yeah. It was a lot of extra on us. There were actually parts of it where we were losing money on it. Yeah. And so we decided to close those programs. Yeah, and if you want to see that this was an actual thing, go to nineuniversity.com slash comparison. You can see those two programs that were closed and what was included. Right, and they say closed now. You can't buy them. They are no longer open. Yep. Um, no one else can buy them. And we closed it on June 1st. June 1st. We were in San Francisco, but those words that he said, closed. Yep. It's closed now. You can't buy it. Yep. That's actually the key to this video. It is the key to You kind of dropped it a little early. The key My is bad. scarcity and urgency. Right. Those are the two things I'm gonna teach you. So if you're one of those people that's like, oh, story time sucks, I don't wanna hear this story. No, 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 you wanna hear this Scarcity story. and urgency, gonna teach you how to do that for your business. So the stage has been set on May 31st, June 1st, when this is happening. Yep. We were in San Francisco. Yeah. We were visiting our good friend, Derek Struggle. Derek Shout Struggle. out to Derek. <laughs> We were visiting him in San Francisco, yep. and this was just the date. I think we picked the date to close it before the trip had been arranged, whatever. Yeah. But that day in San Francisco, we were in downtown San Francisco. Yeah. We were riding some scooters around. They have these ride-sharing scooters that you can just like, when you're done with it, you just like chuck it on the sidewalk and just yep. like walk away. It's yep. super weird. What else were we doing? We were eating some good food. We were just basically being tourists. We rode these ride-sharing scooters yeah. like 10 miles. <laughs> yeah. If you know anything about San Francisco, there's this super touristy place called the Fisherman's Wharf. Yeah. We rode from there all the way to the Golden Gate Bridge and all the way back. Maybe we can put some clips all up in here and yeah. then we maybe would like, there will be We would be literally clips. ride a scooter until it ran out of battery, abandon it, look for another one, ride it a little yep. further. And, and while I'm doing all of this, getting back to the main meat of the story, yes. I'm getting chats on my phone, I'm getting emails, I'm getting calls from people wanting to buy Nine University, those two programs, Masters and the Doctor program. Why were they so, why did they want to buy it so bad on that day? Well, well Kale, it's because you already gave it away. Scarcity um. <laughs> and urgency. Yeah. Listen, let's just get into this. Okay. Anything you're selling, whether it be an online course, whether it be an e-commerce product, whether it be something on Amazon, whether it be something on eBay, whether it be something on Shopify, yes. whether you're selling something in a brick and mortar store on the street, yep. if you create scarcity 
it will come, okay? Yeah. Think about this. I am a big sneaker fan. I've got some tricolor NMDs on right now. I like shoes a lot, okay? Oh. Kanye West has yeah. shoes, it's a perfect example. okay? Yeah. They're called Yeezys. They're some of the most hyped shoes. I have three pairs. They're awesome <laughs> just because they look cool. Yeah. But every time that Adidas and Kanye drop one of these Yeezy shoes, okay, mm -hmm. there are tens of millions of people yeah. on the internet on adidas.com on yeezysupply.com and all these different places yeah. trying to buy i literally called him before and he's been like i'm like what are you doing he's like i got six monitors going i'm clicking trying to get yeezys like yes. at the time because that's what you needed exactly yeah. but there are tens of millions of people on trying to get ten thousand pairs of shoes yeah that's all they have okay yeah. what happens retail price is 220 they drop two hours after, no, before they even drop, as yeah. soon as they drop, they're selling on eBay, they're selling at consignment shops for 600, 800, 1,000. They've gone up to two grand for a pair of shoes. Yeah, isn't that crazy? And why is that? What's the psychology behind that? It's basically just that, that word FOMO, fear of missing out. As humans, we're, we're generally, I wouldn't say we're lazy, but we generally, will wait to do something until we absolutely have to do it, right? Like, you're not gonna go and run off to the store if you know that that store is gonna have that product forever. But if that same store says, hey, look, 50% off sale, and it's expiring on Friday, and it has an item that you really want, you're gonna get in your car, and you're gonna go to the store, and you're gonna get it because you don't want it to be gone forever, yeah. right? And if you're like a super logical person like I am, yeah. it's super simple in terms of it's an economic principle in supply and demand. Yeah, that's true. The lower the supply is, the higher the demand's gonna be. So true. The higher the supply is, the lower the demand's gonna be, okay? Yeah. So this is crazy when you're using it, you know, if we talk about Amazon FBA, yeah. okay? If you're offering coupons, if you're, we have a whole bunch of videos that are coming out on Instagram ads, on Facebook ads, if yep. you're running ads for a sale that you're running on a product that's only good for two days, you're going to generate sales because people have this scar scarcity mindset and what he was talking about, fear missing out, that they need the product, it's 50% off right now. This is why every store you walk into, you walk into a Best Buy, a JCPenney, yep. a freaking wherever, yep. right? This is what my wife does, okay? I'm gonna tell you a story about my wife. <laughs> she goes into TJ Maxx. TJ. I hate TJ Maxx. All on the floor. I spend so much money at TJ Maxx, <laughs> okay? Brooke walks into TJ Maxx. She sees something, she goes, 50% off. We gotta get Only it. today. <laughs> gotta buy it. And I go, well, okay. Yeah. But still, it's this mindset. And when you wrap your head around that scar, that scarcity, I have a problem saying it. I don't know. Scarcity. 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 Yeah. When you wrap your head around that, you can create demand for your product that did yeah. not exist before. But here's the deal, guys. I think there's different levels to these bevels because people wow. are getting more confused. People are getting more accustomed to seeing everything's on sale, right? Like you walk into a store, everything's on sale. You're like, okay, this is a gimmick. Everything's always on sale. I'll just come back tomorrow. People are getting accustomed to that. I think the perfect storm, the reason why we were able to make, how much was it? $47,708 in one day. And that's Screenshot all. Screenshot again. That's a lot of money, guys. That's not just like a typical day. I think the reason it was such a perfect storm, it's something you should maybe try to do if you're able to with whatever product you're selling, whether it's a digital product, whether you sell on Amazon, is create like end of the road scarcity, like, I'm talking like urgency that is so final that people are like, holy crap, it's really forever. Like yep. it's really gone. Here's the, here's, here's the top reasons I think that this worked for us. So tell me. I'm not like a genius, but here's why I think it worked. We announced it a week in advance on YouTube publicly. So we, we stood here and we made it our claim as men that in a week, this was no longer going to exist ever again. So then our integrity is on the line. We have no choice but to turn it off and it's it's done in a week. So everyone knew that we, we meant business. So they immediately thought to themselves, okay, it's gonna be gone and I have to make a decision, right? So they, they had to make a decision, but they, not a lot of people jumped in that first day. No. Not at all. So what did not we do? Not many people jumped in the first five days of that. No, not, even, not really. But throughout those five days, this is, this is step number two. When you make a bold claim, like a, a final cutoff, like this is gone forever kind of thing, 
you have to keep reminding people, okay? Yep. So because we had created such urgency and such a deadline, we didn't really feel bad about sending out 5, 10, 15 emails, posting in the Facebook group 5, 10, 15 times because it's not that we were selling, we were just informing you that, hey, don't forget, on this day, even if you don't, even if you do forget, it's gone forever. Yep. That's all we were doing. We weren't. We went from selling to informing, and there's a very, very big difference. Yeah. Don't you think? Absolutely. And so, overall, right? It's creating scarcity. It's creating sales urgency. Yeah. Right. Is what it is. Okay. And you people, we've been talking about them throughout the whole thing of creating your own demand with scarcity, with sales, with deals, with all kinds of things, right? Yeah. Uh, you can create sales urgency by having influencers talk about your thing, by offering influencers coupon codes, okay? Mm -hmm. If somebody, if, if Lay's Potato Chips we give you calls us, yeah. and they're like, hey, we want you to feature Lay's in one of your videos, yeah. and we'll give you a coupon code that anyone who comes to your video, watches the video, and uses coupon code on Lay's Chips, will get 50% off. Yeah. Guess what? I guarantee you, yeah. some of you would go out and buy Lay's potato chips. <laughs> I guarantee it. Yeah. It works. It's yep. creating urgency and really what it is, is it is creating demand where it wasn't before. Exactly, that's so true. It's, it's artificial demand and it's also kind of disguised in this way that allows you to sell without selling. And I yep. think that's one of the, the biggest keys. There was another key I had. We're gonna pause this clip so I can think of this key because I want you to know it. Hold on. All right, I'm back. Number three, okay? This, none of this would have happened. None of this would have happened. I wanna reiterate this. You can create a final deadline for a product that sucks and no one will buy it. Yep. The reason that it worked is because we had a good product with, with things that people truly wanted at that price point. Yes, we were charging $3,000. But the value we were offering was far greater than that $3,000. Yep. So that's why people jumped on it. They didn't pay $3,000 just because of a deadline. Yep. We didn't hoodwink anybody. Nope. They paid $3,000 because they knew it was worth it. And all that, all that urgency did is it lit a fire under them to actually get their yep. wallets out and buy it. And I want to say that first off, we weren't, like Keller said, hoodwinking anyone. Yeah. The course the people got, they're getting everything they bought, and we haven't reopened it. We're not planning on it, okay? Yep. But I think like something else that we did that was really, really cool was I remember we were in San Francisco, like we were saying, yeah. and it was closing at like 6 p.m. No, it was closing at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So it was National Donut Day. It was. So it was 6 p.m. So at like 5, 5.15, we went to this Dunkin' Donuts. It was no, Krispy Kreme. We went to Krispy Kreme. We got free donut because it was free donut day or yeah. national donut day. Yeah. And we sat there and we literally went live on Facebook, yeah. got on the computer and started type chatting with people who were on the website. You should have seen our chat. Answering more. questions. Yeah. Like it was literally like I was on a laptop, Kill was on his phone, then we'd switch, then we switched, then we switched. Yeah. And it was just like It was fun. It was fun. It was cool. And I think the best part about it is like Kill was just saying, it's a it was an amazing product. It still is an amazing product, right? It's just not for sale anymore. But it gave people a reason to buy it right then. Yeah. And I can actually tell you, I won't tell you everything about it, okay? I won't, I won't spill the details. But Kale and I's goal is to help people, okay? That's why we do what we do. In a week or two, uh, two-ish weeks, you're going to see a video come onto the channel, and it is going to be creating sales urgency. Yep. Okay. It's going to be creating urgency to buy Nine University, to buy products from Honey Badger Boost. Yeah. But it's going to be creating urgency in a whole different way. Yeah. We have not talked about it in this video. It's gonna be cool. We're gonna create urgency in a way that I'll say this uses people's emotions. Yep. And you not in a bad way. Yeah. But we're gonna create create urgency in two weeks for Honey Badger Boost Nine University. Keep here and you will see what I'm talking yeah, about. Tune in, hit subscribe, hit whatever you hit on the podcast to make sure you get notified for the next one because this is going to be a really cool, not only cool tactic, it's not really a tactic, but it's going to be, it's just going to It's be a cool fun. project for us. Yeah, you're really going to like it. And so that, that kind of brings us to the end. I just want to say that no matter if you have a digital product, no matter if you have physical products, no matter how if you have um, something that is just like, uh, what do I call it, intangible, like you're just yeah. doing um, consulting or something yep. like that. There's always a way to be creative 
and add scarcity and urgency, even if it's just in the way that you're talking. Like yep. say you're on the phone trying to get a client and they're like, all right, well, how long is the price gonna be the same in a month? Like I don't have, lots of people will say, I don't have the money right now. Like I don't have, I don't have the money. You could be like, well, honestly, um, I'm getting clients at a very high rate and in a few months, I don't know where I'll be. I can't promise you that the price will go up, but I do promise you that I'm gonna do everything I can to get more clients to get more busy. Yep. So the price probably is gonna to have to go up to respect my time. Yep. And that's just like, that was honest, that was upfront, and that created a little bit of a fire under your customer. Don't ever just let them be like, oh yeah, come back whenever. You know, it's fine, we'll be here. Nope. You'll never get any sales, you never will. So. You got any last tips for them? That's it. We just wanted to be transparent, explain this to you, tell you a little story, tell you to use it in your business. If you have a business, if you sell on Amazon, do anything else, and you want us to go more in depth about it, like how do I create urgency on Amazon or yeah. how do I create urgency on eBay or wherever you're doing, post down below. Let us know that you want those videos to be made, like specific examples. But we love you guys. We didn't make this video to be to brag about anything. We wanted to use it as an example. Yep. Tell you guys a story. If you're subscribed, we love you. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. We love you guys. See you in the next one.